Hi Tiyasha. Hi Nathan. Okay, so could you tell us a bit about yourself, your parents and your education, your family? Yeah. So I am 12 years old. Okay. I live in Nathurgiri in the Kalambo district. I live with my parents and my sister and my grandmother. I school at Horizon College International in Malabe and I am currently in year 8. So what else do you do, you know, other than your school's work and studies? So I do sports. I do cycling, swimming and athletics. Okay. And my hobbies are listening to music, playing outside with my friends, drawing and crafting. Okay. Is your father a businessman? He is actually employed in a US based company uh, related to fashion. Yeah. Okay. So anyone who, you know, gave you inspiration to become a kidpreneur? Anybody? Yeah. It was mainly my father and my mother, but also a few of my relatives. Okay. And also my sister. So can you tell me, how did you get the idea? You know, why why did you sell cards? Why are you selling cards? Why not any other business? <laughs> yeah. So every year, our family gives away gifts for needy kids. Okay. So this time I thought that I would like to self-generate some funds to support the kids apart from my family's work. Okay, so that's very nice of you. So, I looked into my hobbies and talents and I thought that I would use my talent of crafting to uh, self-generate some money. Okay. So, you donate some of that money to charity? Yeah. So, I generated a business plan with the help of my father and a bit of support from the internet and my objective was to donate at least 10,000 rupees for charity. I'm sure you would have decided the price and cost for the cards. So how did you decide that? So I went to many shops such as Kiehl's, Apico, places like that and I found that the cars were priced at about 195 upwards. So I decided to price my cards at 100 rupees and the cost being 25 rupees. So the main cost was the raw materials cost and there was hardly any cost for making. So out of the 75 rupees I earned as a profit, 50 rupees went into charity. By the way, how many cards did you make? I made 420 cards. Oh my god. Okay, so someone would have had to work for it now. Why there was no labor cost? Uh, mainly because it was my family. So I didn't exactly have to pay them. So anyway, at the end, I gave them a bit of money. That's fair. Hmm. Did you make a profit and loss account? And was it hard to make it? Uh, yes, I did. And it was a bit hard at first. But I got the support of my parents and a bit of help from the internet to make it. Uh, I I identified the cost on one side and the revenue and donations on the other and that's how I made it. What was your marketing strategy? Did you go from house to house selling the cards? Actually I didn't. It was done online and I went to a few shops to see the pricing and the nature of the cards and I also checked the internet to see the best modes of creating awareness and I found that the e-flyer was the best way because it was cost effective and also because I had a limited number of cards. So I decided to use the e-flyer and I made it by myself. I had the support of my parents, my relatives and my friends to distribute it on the internet. What exactly did you do with the profit? So I sold 420 cards and I earned a total of 42,000. So some aunties and uncles were kind enough to give me 27,000 as donations. So altogether that summed up to 69,000. For charity, I used 48,000 and I was left with 21,000 as a balance. So I kept half of it with me for my future projects and the other half I gave it to my parents for the cost of the making. Why did you donate to charity and what was the charity? So I explained why I donated it to charity in a previous question. Yes. So uh, we were able to find two orphanages in the Colombo district with a total of 29 children between the ages of 1 to 10. So on the 28th of December, we went there, visited them, gave them some essentials and I'm really happy to say that we were able to use the entire 48,000 on that. What advice do you have to kids who want to become kidpreneurs? So first you have to have an objective or desire on what you want to do and next you should pick a field or a business that you are passionate about and that you think is fun something you won't get bored of basically and afterwards you should come up with a business plan to see your practical it is and then follow it up with an action plan what advice do you have for Sri Lankan parents as a kidpreneur my parents supported me a lot 
when I came up with the idea. So the first piece of advice is to support your kids if they think that they have a good idea. And secondly, it's that education is not the only thing that's important and that other activities can also shape up your life as a kid. What are your future aspirations? So firstly, I'm planning to use natural and biodegradable raw materials for my cards. Oh, so environmentally friendly. Yeah. And then I'm also planning to add more products such as say candle jars out of recycled jars and wind chimes out of seashells, stuff like that. So we do a environmental friendly club with our relatives, friends and neighbors uh, and we're planning to do a beach cleaning project next month great is there anyone you want to thank from going through this journey yes actually first I'd like to thank my family and my relatives for supporting me throughout and also guiding me then I would like to thank the uncles and aunties who actually bought the cards I would like to give out a very special thanks to some of the aunties and uncles who donated some money in addition to the cards they bought oh, so people have donated to help you yeah they donated 27,000. So then last but not least, I'd like to thank God for all the blessings he had given me to successfully complete this project. Thank you very much, Tiasa, for sharing your story with us. I'm sure lots of kids will watch this and be inspired to become kidpreneurs. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to be interviewed, Nathila. Yes, you're welcome.